power. You already know what it is, man. B-I-W-D-O-W-G. Back up in this thing once again. We're talking about Coach Prime and that roster is going down. It is game week as it will be sold out once again, April the 22nd for the spring game. Everybody's going to be there. Everybody's excited, looking forward to being in the building, being in, on campus, being in Boulder where it's colder. Everybody knows what's going down. Uh, all type of events going on on campus, but we're talking about how much other roster will be new. I read this article that said Coach Prime has a math problem. Huh? What's the math problem? <laughs> and they said, by rule, the University of Colorado head football coach is limited to 85 scholarship players per year, but he wanted to bring in dozens of new players as part of his plan to supercharge his roster after being hired at the school in early December, of course. He's already signed 42 newcomers. Well, actually, that's about 40, yep, 42 newcomers. And he hinted that uh, he's hinted that he wants to bring in even more. Of course, that is during this time in the portal. So what, what does he do with the 51 active players this spring who were already there before he was? What does he do with the returning buff players? How many does he want to... Uh, leave or, or uh, you know, call off from the Buffalo's herd. How many he wants to uh, shuck away? Uh, and, and like he said, they're going to eliminate themselves, man. And as of now, they're reckoning as the Buffs conclude the spring practice season Saturday with a sold-out inter-squad game at Folsom Field. Sanders and said Monday that the game will not just be another opportunity for players to prove themselves on a big stage, but more recruits will be visiting this weekend who could replace them, who could replace them now or next year. So be on top of your game, Coach Prime is saying. He's treating this, like I said, like the NFL or like something that uh, expansion team or something. He ain't playing no games with this, man. It's Coach Prime. <laughs> he ain't playing no game with this. So we're going to go live at the same time. Uh, you can check us out right now live on YouTube, B-I-W-G-D-O-W-G underscore Chico. And we're talking about Coach Prime having a math problem with 85 scholarships. But a bunch of these players, uh, we got 51 players returning. What is he going to do? And he read in the article on USA Today that it will be at least half of the uh, by the fall, but could creep up to around 70% as far as uh, how much of the roster will be new. Whew. That's 60 of 85 players, depending on what they find in the portal. So we can we can pretty much count the players that they're going to keep <laughs> rather than counting the players that's, that's leaving. We should probably be talking about the players that they're going to be keeping would be uh, easier to do than talking about the guys who are going to be leaving because they anticipate a whole heap, as my grandma used to say, <laughs> of people uh, leaving um Colorado not just some but a whole bunch of guys who getting up out of that thing for whatever reason uh they feel like they can't play won't play uh or whatever they just getting up out of there and you know that's on them but we're gonna check this out real quick we're gonna check out uh what's going on on their roster that's going into the spring this Saturday this Saturday if you're gonna be there let me know let me see if we can pull this up right here. If you're going to be there, let me know. If not, I feel you. Uh, why is my... Uh, there it is. Let's go. Everybody on this thing. Shout out to everybody on Twitch. I got my Twitch live too. I forgot about that. <laughs> I got Twitch live too. Uh, let's get it. All right, here we go. Let's go to this roster right quick. Presented by Ford Trucks, the best ever rest. <laughs> what was that commercial? All right, Jimmy Horn Jr. going to start this thing off. Number five, first person to earn his number out of South Florida. He is on that roster. Don't know if he's going to be playing. We just saw him on our pregame show saying uh, he was injured. He was eating a peanut butter jelly salmon, drinking his smoothie. But we saw him before. Uh, with the injury, he's been sitting out practice. He said he might be back tomorrow, which is Wednesday. That will clear him for the uh, the game on Saturday, right? That will clear him for the game on Saturday. If he can get cleared and go out there and practice full speed by Thursday, he can pro uh, 
possibly practice and play the game on Saturday. J- Cameron Silman Craig, the hard hitting safety, earned his number, number seven. So they got the numbers, all the people who earned their numbers first on this roster. With Cameron Silman Craig, 5'10, 175, junior out of Birmingham, Alabama, Trinity Christian, Texas, uh, with Coach Prime, and then Jackson State, of course, with Coach Prime. Also, we go on to the next one, the highest rated recruit to sign in Colorado, uh, especially recently. I'm not sure about back in the day, but definitely recently. In the last 20 years, Travis Hunter, he will be wearing number 12, rocking number 12, wearing, uh, playing mostly wide receiver, two-way guy. You will see him, of course, playing some um, defense, possibly in the in the in the uh, in the summer, heading into the fall, that's when he'll be on that defensive side of the football. Uh, right now, he's just learning more on offense, as he said, because you know you got to get that offensive scheme down. If you don't have the offensive scheme down uh, in Power Five football, you're not just gonna pop out there and and you know, hey, I'm, I'm I'm on the field, I'm playing. You know what I'm saying? That- <laughs> No, nah, man, this ain't Pee Wee football where you can just put the best athlete out there and tell him to go get it. Not the day, as they say. Uh, but Travis Hunter will be out there. Then you got the inside linebacker, Marvin Ham. He's actually wearing number 25. I don't know why they got him in 13. 13 would be Caleb Mathis. But the ins- inside slash um, uh, weak side linebacker would be Marvin Ham. He wore number seven last year, wearing number 25 this year. Two plus five is seven, he said. So I feel you on that. All right. Then you go to, like I said, number 13, Caleb Mathis, the wide receiver, uh, freshman out of Arlington, te- Texas. Uh, Kevin Mathis, the defensive backs coach, uh, qu- cornerbacks coach, his son. So he's a walk on. He played with these guys, uh, Shador and Coach Prime, since a kid. Then you got Levanta Bentley, graduate student out of Birmingham, Alabama, Jackson Ola High School, Clemson. He went to uh, for, uh, what, three, four years, and now he's in Colorado wearing number 20 this year six foot 235 pounds in that middle then we got a guy Isaac Hurtado who coach Prime was getting on today he said you got your number don't you dog you need to be a leader you need to be jogging off the field let's go Cypress California shout out to Cypress Hill Fullerton Community College inside linebacker six foot three 230 hard hitter number 29 Isaac Hurtado Yes, sir. Then you go down to the safety position. The returner, Trevor Woods, wearing number 43. The junior out of Katy, Texas, James E. Taylor High School. Number 44, the D lineman, J.D. Jordan Dominic, 6'3", 250. Graduate student, Lakeland, Florida. Jenkins uh, Community College, uh, Georgia Tech. And then Arkansas. So he's been there, been around, been wearing different jerseys. So he's understanding. He understands, you know, how to switch up and, and continue to prove himself on a different team that he goes to. We're going to go to the tight end spot. The first tight end to earn this number. It wasn't Zico. Nope. It was this guy. Luis Passarello. Passarello. <laughs> uh, sophomore. Palo Alto, California. Played last year. Wore number 89 last year, so he was able to get his number this year. Six foot five, 250. Good blocker. Coach Brewster liked those hybrid tight ends who can uh, be big uh, blockers, pass, you know, be on the end of that line, not just not just uh, a reliability in the run game, but be on the end of that line and can actually, you know, make the blocks, be an extension of the offensive uh, tackle. Uh, I think he can be. Shouts out to everybody in the comments already. My dog, Ref Side Gaming. Yo, what's up? I think 60% will be replaced. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Willie Gaines coming. I hope Fast Willie Gaines coming. If they get Fast Willie Gaines, if people don't know who Fast Willie Gaines is, he played with um with uh, Jackson State last year, and you're talking about getting on top of a defense. Shoo. He just as fast as uh Jimmy Horn. If you have him and Jimmy Horn out there, or he, if he can come in and spell Jimmy Horn Jr., you got a reliable receiver who can definitely get the top off. He reminds me of Steve Smith Sr., who played in the NFL for years. Steve Smith Sr., the possible Hall, Hall of Famer. Let's move on. We're going to go to Shane Coates, the first D lineman to get his number, wearing number 99, looking like big Warren Sapp out there, six foot three, 275. I would say, hey, he ain't 275. He's about 280, 285. 
graduate student out of Dayton, Ohio, Chaminade, Julianne, and Dartmouth College. D. Lyman, uh, one of those leaders on the team. And Shane Cox is going to be bringing it up that middle. Uh, then you go to the quarterback position. Now we're going by by um, uh, alphabetical order. Six foot three, two hundred pounds. Colton Allen, you'll see him out there. He's a freshman out of Highland Ranch, Colorado. D. Lyman, Tyj Austin, uh, he's a grad student from Lumber Lumberton, North Carolina, Union Pines. Uh, he went to West Virginia. He's been hurt a lot during the the, the spring season, but uh, we've seen him on there. Uh, Darius Sanders said, man, you look, you look like one of the most in-shape guys on the team because <laughs> he had his shirt off one time. Shouts out to Ref Side once again. Sports Geek, have you heard anything about linebacker Jerry and Tate Davis or Shane Hooks? I'm going to tell you like this right here. Those two, I'm sure, will be in Boulder during um, the, the, the game, during the spring game, and I think they'll make their decision then, if not before then. I think both of them will be coming to Colorado. Uh, I don't see why they would make a decision. Otherwise, uh, it would be more of a gambling decision to go somewhere else rather than go somewhere where you you know pretty much you know the coaching staff, you know what they expect out of you, they know what – to expect that's why they're they are bringing you on and here's your opportunity to play big time football with the same coaching staff and the same some of the same teammates you know and coach prime i think coach prime want to prove to some people who don't think that guys at jackson state could play um on the power five level and i'm like damn look at shador well he wasn't supposed to go there well he went there <laughs> he went there and a lot of other guys went there too I think Shane may be heading to Ole Miss. Uh, Shane, if he does go to Ole Miss, I won't be mad at him. You know, Lane Kiffin is a good recruiter, and I'm sure if, uh, he could stay right there near um, in in a warm weather place that Shane pre- pretty much likes. But he would have to be uh, probably promised some NIL money to stay down there. I want Jerry and Tate Davis to go to see you. Me too. Uh, JD was a good guy, good tackler up that middle uh, behind Aubrey Miller at Jackson State on their number one defense. Uh, so, you know, number one defense, they played ball. They would have stopped Colorado last year. You know, I don't think Colorado would have scored 14 points on them boys last year. Straight up. All right, now we go to the offensive line. Big Jackson Anderson, 6'4", 295, sophomore out of Mini- Mineola, Texas. Went to Mineola College. All right, then we go to the D lineman, Aaron Austin, six foot two, 240 pounds, edge wrestler, sophomore out of Fort Worth, Texas, DF Dub, North Crawley High School. Keep it moving on. Then we got Big Ball, Allen Ball, six foot two, 290, sophomore, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We'll see a lot of these guys playing in the spring game, uh, filling up space. You know, Jackson State was better than Florida, to be honest. Jackson State was way better than Colorado, Sports Geek said. And we're going to show what they're trying to hide from your comments. Shane Hooks might go to Ole Miss. Yeah, I think so. All right, then we got another cornerback that I've seen some of them, but uh, I haven't heard too much of them from him uh, since. But I saw him working out. I think this guy has a lot of potential. Nigel Bethel Jr., the senior out of Miami, Florida. Let me know what y'all think about Nigel Bethel Jr. If y'all know about him, if he played last year. Question came in. When was Jackson State better than Colorado? Last year? (laughs) Come on, man. Last year? Number one ranked defense in the country. Come on. I don't care what level you playing on. Who you playing against? Number one is number one. Yeah, hit him in the comments right now. Tavion Beasley, the sophomore, Inglewood, California. Inglewood always up to no good. Shout out to Mac 10. St. John Bosco, he went to Jackson State. Uh, once again, Nigel Bethel, six foot 180. I think he was hurt. Uh, they got plenty of corners for the spring game. Uh, if we go by position, I think they got at least, what, one, one, we've we've seen at least four right here. We haven't even finished the whole roster, so we're gonna go to wide receiver, big Cole Bosque, Boskia, freshman out of Danville, California, Monte Vista High School, six foot three, two hundred ten pounds. Cole, outside linebacker, 
Shakan Bowser, 6'4", 230-pound freshman, Queen Creek, Arizona. I haven't heard too much about him, but Kendrick Breedlove came from Ole Miss, sophomore, Nashville, Tennessee, Pearl Con High School. Ole Miss, once again, 5'11", 180 pounds. Uh, he's been showing some promise in the spring, really been locking down some guys. Um, if you really been watching what well I've been posting, Kendrick Breedlove, I think he's going to be making a lot of, uh, getting a lot of action, probably as a nickel corner for sure. He'll probably be starting working with the ones in the spring, though, coming in the spring game. Someone said, you know, people are going to be clowning those white boys. <laughs> Jackson State hasn't been better than Colorado in, in the past years. Okay, well, that's what you say. All right. Update, Big Dog Chico, Willie Gaines coming from JSU. I hope so. I hope I can get some confirmation on that. But fast Willie Gaines, that boy uh, really would take the roof off of defense. If you have fast Willie Gaines – and Jimmy Horn Jr. on the same field. Man, your safety better be way back there. <laughs> you better be way back there, coach. But I, I don't I hope these guys don't think they're just gonna come in and be starting or get the same type of playing time that they got at Jackson State just off the rip, just because they played for that coaching staff. That ain't gonna happen. I'm definitely not saying that. Definitely not saying that. Not at all. Jeremiah Brown, you can see him. He's working for a spot to get on the field. Sophomore out of uh, uh, South Florida, Gaston County in Jackson State, six foot two, two hundred twenty-five pounds. Jeremiah Brown, Willie Games just committed, big dog. Yes, sir. Fast Willie Games. I'll have that update for y'all uh, if I can. Coming real soon. Uh, if I can find it right here, I'll, I'll make sure I update the people. And let them know. See if Fast Willie Gaines put it on Twitter or something. But that's what I call it. That's the name I gave him from uh, last year. Fast Willie Gaines. That boy don't play no game. Oh, he just committed. Yes, sir. I'm going to put it up for you guys. Fast Willie Gaines just committed. And we're going to talk about it right here. Right here. Huh? Yes, sir. Talking about that purple. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I get that to you guys. Uh, Fast Willie Gaines, you guys need to know about him. If you don't know about him, you need to know about him. But he's one of those guys that's uh that's ready to play some, some, some real-time, big-time football for Colorado. Let's see, I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> there it is just committed and I think this is just the start of it hey coach prime you forgot your SRT keys okay oh, you feel me no worries it's coming by way of a Louie from Coco Florida yeah, I'm 100% committed to the University of Colorado thank you lord I'm here I never imagined this it's going down man fast with the game let's see what fast with the game had to say for real though we coming I'm a dog I'm coming baby let's go I'm a dog oof Gotta be a big dog though, but either way it goes fast, Willie Gaines. The news just broke. Shouts out to my squad, all my big dogs in the comments, letting me know that the, my, my guy who was mentioned earlier, Fast Willie Gaines, is coming to Colorado. Is joining Coach Prime in Colorado. It's going down. Put the fire emojis in the comments if you mess with it. If y'all understand what's going, if you don't understand what's going on, I'ma somehow find a way. To let you know what's going on. You got you a speedster right here to put next to uh uh Jimmy Horn Jr. Oh my gosh. I didn't think he was gonna come, so I never did say anything about it. I thought it was gonna be almost like like stealing. I thought it was gonna be almost like uh unfair. Man, fast Willie Gaines can't come too, dog. Not fast Willie Gaines. He can't come too, dog. You feel me? Hmm. Huh. Fast Willie Gaines, USC and TCU looked great in the spring scrimmage, but their crowd looked like, looked, looked crappy. 
that's another thing, man. If I was a player at TCU right now, and I, I looked around, saw that crowd, and I know Colorado is sold out, I'd be mad in the mug. He 5'9", but had 400-plus yards and four TDs. Yeah, but, you know, 5'9", Jimmy Horn Jr. ain't never about 5'8". All right? The guy's a speedster. Uh, uh, Tyreek Hill ain't nothing but 5'8". You know what I'm saying? It's all about getting past that defense. D-Jack was about 5'9", 5'10". We're going to see if Deion Sanders and them can pull off a miracle at Colorado. Man, listen, man. He came down to Jackson State and did his thing, and he ain't just beat the swag. He dominated the swag. I don't think he's going to come in and dominate the Pac-12 just like that, but he's going to put up, depending on what he could do in this portal right here, and if he keep getting these dogs where everybody from the top to the bottom of that list, from the top to the bottom of that list is uh, some players who can actually play ball. Whoever gets subbed in, they can ball out. Shit. He gonna be competing. He's just gonna be coming with a whole different guys that he's putting together right now. He gonna overhaul this roster right now, unlike anybody else has ever done. Can't nobody else do it like that. This prime baby got the number one transfer class in the country. You feel me? And now he's just gonna add to that. People ain't never seen this before, dog. Come on, man. People ain't never seen this before. What you about to see right now and what's going on with these boys? Listen, man. Y'all been underestimating. HBCU football, FCS football for the longest coach prime finna bring some of these guys over here. He no talent, and he's finna play some ball with these guys. He finna play some ball with these all these guys. Y'all talking about four or five stars, this, that, and the other, but they end up being soft. They end up transferring because their mama and daddy didn't even take care of them all their life. Got a silver spoon, this, that, and the other. They don't know how to get it out the mud. They get start to crying. If Coach Prime said you got to earn your number, but I always wore number eight. Don't nobody care about that, man. You earn your number if you want to play, have a number here in Colorado with Coach Prime. He got a gold jacket and he didn't pay for it. Don't come over here with that crying stuff. Don't come over here talking about what you what you supposed to be having. Nathan for Nathan. You're going to earn everything from the number to everything, coach. We don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that. That's all I'm saying. We're going to play some real football now. After this spring game is over with, y'all going to see who y'all see. Y'all going to see. Y'all get to see y'all guys who stayed, who played last year. This, this is going to be their last hurrah. All these mediocre guys who who you know were good in high school because they they play for they whatever. Not, oh man, not today, Coach. Coach Prime came out here to win. Not tomorrow, today, Coach. Need some big men up front on both sides, and we are set. Listen, the big dogs coming. Watch, watch. A lot of these guys finna continue transferring out this portal, man. If I pull up the portal right now, you will see a lot of these big dogs still up in the portal, which I should be doing. Let me pull up the port on y'all right quick. It's crazy what's going down right now. Huh? Hit me with the comments. Let me know what's going on. Oh my gosh, another Uso in the in the in the transfer portal. Fatuvalu. Fatuvalu in the portal. Out of Cal. Three star cornerback. Jamontez Woods out of Troy. Let me make sure I got this for y'all can see this, man. Let me know where y'all listening in from. Hit the like, subscribe, comment. Hit me with the scope buffs. Hit me with something in the comments. Let me know that you up in this thing, man. Share this thing. Let everybody know we're going live right now. We talking CU Buffs football. We preview in the spring game. It's about to go down. I'll let you guys know the real. We ain't shooting code Nathaniel. For Nathaniel. That's Nathan for Nathan, if you don't know. That's nothing for nothing. Jackson State had dogs for real, straight up. So, so uh, Lawrence Little said, Hooks has to be licking his lips. Uh, dreaming of this high-power offense he will have even before he commits. Exactly. He probably rubbing his hands together like Birdman. What's happening, cousin? We about to go live. <laughs> I got a helicopter with 30-inch Lorenzo's on that thing, man. You feel me? I got a platinum football field. What they say? I got a platinum grill with a platinum chain. I'm flying in to my platinum football field. Shout out to Houston, Texas. Landon Atkins. I'm in Houston, Texas. 
And I'm on Bandwagon Buffs. Go Buffs. That's what's up. Shout out to all my Bandwagon Buffs fans. Shout out to all of what, What's my dog? I forgot my dog name, but he, uh, I think he coined that. BDB or Band, BWB or what is it? B the B gang, bandwagon buff gang. Shouts out to Easy Does It. Let's get it. My dog, what's happening with you? Get on this thing. Shouts out to Webster up in this thing. Rich T, Sco Buffs. Easy Does It. I mess with you, dog. I mess with I mess with real ball players who get on this YouTube thing and really be talking about something and know what they're talking about. Shouts out to you, my dog. Let me get back on this roster in a minute, but we're on the transfer portal real quick. Eric Gray up in that thing. Corin Warren. Gunner Smith, tight end, big Ben Posma came out today. Bernard Goodson, Isaiah Paul out of Wazoo, uh, Sean Grayson out of UNLV, Noah, uh, not Belitnikov, but uh, Botikov out of TCU, Landon Watson out of TCU, Danny Valenzuela out of Arizona State, Abdul Latif Adu. Matt Robinson, Jordan Hudson, four-star out of TCU. Fizzworth Gardner out of ULM. And Jaden Davis out of Oklahoma. All these guys highlighting are uh, the guys who's coming out of the portal right now. Who came out of the portal right now as of today. If you don't know, now you know Coach Prime got something up his sleeve. <laughs> and it ain't nothing but the truth. If you ain't never heard it before. It ain't nothing but the truth if you ain't never heard it before. If y'all USC fans, I got I think I had some USC fans up in here. Or is that oh that's El Hombre Negro said USC Pac-12 champions and get their first FBS playoff bid. Call it what you want to call it. But we talking about Coach Prime today, baby. I'm a Coach Prime fan for over 30 years, Ref Side Gaming said. You know what I mean? You and me too. I'm sure other people up in this thing too. Landon said he got on live today and said he going to have his edits tonight. Coach Brian got these uh, California guys, Florida guys, too, coming to Colorado for real. Easy does it. Shout out to you. I love watching your channel. Much love. You know it. That's why I rock with you. You don't, you don't fake it for nobody. Just Exactly. Just got to be yourself, dog. <laughs> you feel me? Like, like Bernie Mac said, son, let me tell you something, son. Let me tell you something. If people don't like you, when you're being yourself, then mug him. Mug him up against the wall with handcuffs on and super glue on his lips. <laughs> you feel me? Who cares? Shane Miss or Shane Hook say he's going to old. They say he's going to old Miss. Look at his mom IGs. I think it'll be a good fit actually for uh, for Shane Hooks to go to old Miss. I can't front. I think it'll be a good fit. Although it'll be a good fit for him in Colorado too. But man, with Fast Willie Games. Uh, with Adam Hopkins, you can watch Adam Hopkins highlight tape that I have uh, previously done. He's going to be a beast. I'm telling you, he's going to come in as a freshman and be a beast. A lot of people are high on um, Omarion on Miller. I'm high on Adam Hopkins. You feel me? Watch what I say. I'm high. Oh, I'm high. That sounds. Fun. I'm high on. Adam, Adam, I'm high on Adam Hopkins. <laughs> Straight up. We're gonna go back to this spring roster real quick. And talk about uh, the guys who we're going to be seeing on the field. Uh, and, the, and the ones that we're going to be seeing on the field possibly for the last time. Because this turnover that Coach Prime has going on is going to be literally uh, a, not a 360, but a 180 definitely. He's going to turn this thing all the way around uh, without any reservation or holding off for anybody who cares what's going on. Let me read some comments also as I get this. Uh, getting up there, so go ahead and get your comments in right now. And uh, like, subscribe, and all the other good stuff, man. Everybody else, shout out to Life of Football. Everybody else who got a channel, shouts out to it. Y'all tag yourselves. Y'all uh, put your promo in this thing. If you want to have an ad on here, y'all hit me up in the DMs. You already know what it is. I'm Marion Miller. Remind me of Mike Evans somewhere, so, uh, Sports Geek said. Shout out to Sports Geek. Zion said Coach Prime is going to have to trim down that receiver room. Man, when I played, I th- how many people we had? We had at least 12 guys in the receiver room. You know, probably two walk-ons. And the rest of them were legit. Straight up. At least 12 guys in the receiver room. I'm trying to think. It might be more than that. But I think at least 12 guys 
in the uh, college receiving room, no doubt. And that's just from freshmen to senior guys. I like this right here. We're going to go back to it. I like this right here. Shouts out to everybody out there. I'm going to pull this up for you right quick so we can see this. Love this shot right here. It's a beautiful campus um, out there in Boulder. Beautiful campus. And when you're playing on the, uh, one of the, when you go into an atmosphere, when you're a player, you go into an atmosphere where it looks good, you know, just like Coach Prime said, you look good, you feel good, you play good, they pay good. When you go into an atmosphere that looks good, when the grass is manicured nicely, you know what I'm saying, when you smell that grass freshly cut, the, 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 the white lines is nice and crisp about that thing, oh, you're ready to play. And mess around and have some beautiful weather like this, you ready to play. Oh, it's a sellout? Oh, it's... <laughs> Man, we finna crack some heads out here, coach. It's going down. It's going down. Let's go. Man, these boys finna be hitting hard. It's finna be a real game. Watch what I tell you now. It's gonna be a damn near real game out there. I don't know how much Shadur is gonna play, depending on what Coach Prime they wanna do, but it's gonna be a real game going out there for some of these guys, and it should be because y'all gotta prove yourself, coach. You gotta prove yourself. Where were we at? We was right here at Jeremiah Brown when we left off. We did Kendra Bree Love, Jeremiah Brown, the sophomore out of South Florida. Then go down to uh, Tyler Brown, who everybody likes a lot, who's uh, really showed out and showed what he can do coming in from Jackson State Junior out of Jackson, Mississippi, St. Joseph Catholic, uh, Louisiana Lafayette before he came to Jackson State. And he's a big monster in that middle. A lot of people like Tyler Brown. Put some fire emojis if you mess with Tyler Brown. If you think he's going to be a st starter in the middle, calls himself the bodyguard for Shador Sanders. <laughs> and he takes pride in it. I love offensive linemen that takes pride in blocking for their quarterback, for the running back, quarterback, whoever, just blocking, period. A guy takes pride in that, that's what you want to have. You feel me? That's what you love to see on your team, a guy who takes pride in blocking. That's what Coach uh, brought over with Big Tyler Brown. Then we got the tight end. Or actually, the tailback. I'm sorry, 5'11", 175, Dante Capolungo, the freshman out of Littleton, Colorado. He's a local guy, Dakota Ridge High School. Uh, tailback once again, 5'11", 175. Go to the punter, Trent Carrizosa, sophomore, San Jose, California, Del Mar High School. Quarterback Drew Carter, who a lot of people have been high on. He's been doing his thing uh, out in camp in spring so far. Sophomore out of Oregon, Tigard High School. Here's a returning starter, six foot ten. I definitely will probably get some rebounds in some uh, rec league basketball. I'll tell you that. Six foot ten, 315 pounds, Junior Davis, California. Offensive lineman, left tackle, big tank, Jared, Gerard Christian Lexingham. Go to the tight end spot. Uh, big Big Tank is a starter right now, penciled in. Coach Prime need a FBS Power 5 quarterback also. Man, that's Shador Sanders. He going to prove that to you. And I think you're really trolling me right now, El Hollenbred Network. You're trolling me right now. Shout out to Ref Side. Shout out to Eddie Houston, Landon Atkins, Sports Geek, Eddie Weeks, Zion2215, and everybody else up in this thing. You already know what it is. Johnny Swag, I Swear TV. Double S, Byron Gray, and everybody else, man. He got to be trolling. <laughs> he definitely trolling. He going to see, though. Shadur going to be proof. He going to – Shadur, man, Shadur, Shadur a baller, dog. I'm a believer. Then you go to the tight end position, six foot six, 240 pounds, Zach Courtney, the freshman out of Post, Texas. Hopefully he can post up some guys and get some receptions. And if he's not a blocker, Coach Bruce is not going to like him. I can tell you that right now. You got to be a blocker on the end of that line for Coach Bruce to deal with you. Got to be a two-way, full spectrum tight end, not playing no games. Safety, six foot one, 175, Austin Dalkey. Sophomore out of Edge, Wisconsin. Hey, Austin, you 175. You better put some meat on them bones because if you're talking about playing safety back there, are you going to be transferring? You're going to be somewhere in Wisconsin. Playing, all right. Get you get your weight up. 
<laughs> get your weight up. Talking about some 175. You feel me? Here's the old lineman that we saw Coach Prime dressing. Six foot two, 260 pound, Caden Dempsey. And hopefully that won't be his claim to fame. You know, but he said he made sure he told Coach Prime, hey, my dad's been, you know, my dad had, grandpa had season tickets since uh, 67. You know, this is my grandpa's pen that I have on. Coach Prime, I hope you help me get dressed. I'm the host of the Cuspies. It's like the SBs for the school. You know, I want to stay here, Coach Prime. You know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just talking, man. But I'm sure he probably will walk on, but he's getting his grades right out of Lakewood, California. Shout out to Lakewood. That's my hood. Back in the 2 seven. Shout out to Lakewood, Colorado. You already know what it is. Six foot two, two sixty. Caden Dempsey. Then we go to Dylan Dixon. This guy, I think he left, right? Six foot two, one sixty five. Freshman out of Houston, Texas, Perlin. I, th- I think I saw his name as a guy who's left, who's who's transferred. Let me know if y'all know about that. Luke Egghart, six foot six, two ninety. Now, a lot of people are talking about how small the offensive line, defensive line is. Technically, the line is not small, man. If you compare them on paper to other people, uh, other teams, they're right there on par. You know, a lot of their guys, though, are uh, more tall and lean rather than football type, uh, uh, stocky, more wide built. You know what I'm saying? They're six foot six, 290 rather than six foot five, 320, you know? Six foot three, three twenty. You know what I mean? Like uh, Tyler Brown is. They got a lot of these basketball type guys. Here's another one. Here's two right here. Big Luke Eckhart and Carter Edwards. Six foot five, two eighty. Six foot six, two ninety. You know, more leaner type, long legged type guys. Uh, he's a freshman out of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Dang. Presbyterian Christian guy from Hattiesburg. Southern Miss didn't pick him up. Hmm. Get a couple comments in right quick. Yeah, L num L Humbre Negro. Coach Prime knows his own boy ain't no power five starter quarterback. <laughs> man, come on, man. Eddie Weeks. If you give Shadur time to throw is a rep. Uh even with that, he's a great improviser also. He can make moves outside the pocket um and, and make plays with his legs also. You guys will see that. Uh I just hope they can keep him upright. You know, like you said, they give him time. He can pick you apart. Smart quarterback. Way smarter than a lot of people think. See, you was going to shock a lot of people this year. Jeff Wilder said, yep, I agree. Austin will for sure be in that transfer portal when Shiloh comes through. Yep, yeah, definitely. Shiloh, when Shiloh comes through that thing, he, like I said on the last live, he's going to bring a whole new energy, attitude uh, to that defense when he comes through. Watch. Let me know what y'all think about Shiloh coming through. Because when he come through, he, he's smacking heads. He ain't playing no game. Shiloh is an equal opportunity head smacker, head cracker, headache gang CEO. He said it already. 100%. Watch. I hope he's somewhere working out, though. Hope he don't, hope he don't disappoint me. He'd be somewhere, you know what I mean, playing around somewhere. But if, he, if he's somewhere working out, uh, Shiloh going to be ready <laughs> to do his thing. So we were talking about how much of the roster will be new, about 60 to 70% of it. We already had about 50%, I think, with Coach Prime. 51 guys still there, 45 guys, uh, brought, 42 guys brought in. All right. Then we got this guy who's been running touchdowns every day, breaking long runs. He's going to be a, a surprise for a lot of people as a freshman and weighing only one. It says 165. I've seen him get his weight up. He's going to be around 180 once that season starts. He's going to be able to take a few licks as he's going to be a spot running back. Dylan Edwards, the freshman out of Derby, Kansas. He was headed to Notre Dame and ended up being flipped. One coach prime who was recruiting them. He was Dylan Edwards said they was recruiting him hard to come to Jackson state, which he was considering, but then he made his decision to go to Notre Dame. But at that time, coach prime called him a week before he took the Colorado job and told him, Hey dog, we need you to come on to Colorado. We power five now. (laughs) <laughs> he ain't got to worry about it. We power five now. We got the resources. Come on over. And that's what he did. Dylan Edwards, four-star running back. He's going to be breaking a lot of touchdowns. I predict at least five to six touchdowns for Dylan Edwards in the run and pass game. Uh, and he could be on the special teams also. Wilkerson is on the clock from JSU. Yo, Xavier Wilkerson surprised a lot of people also. 
tough running back. I called him Savion like Le'Veon, like Le'Veon Bell earlier in his career with the Steelers. Uh, Savion, the battering, baby battering ram. Uh, Savion, the bowling ball. That's what he can do. Savion Wilkerson, as soon as he announced that he's coming, that's going to be a great day for Colorado, I think. Uh, just for depth also. Wide receiver position, six foot, 190. Trinette Estes. I've seen Estes make a lot of plays in camp. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about him and saying what he can do. He's a freshman out of Austin, Texas, Lake Travis High School. Uh, he surprised a lot of people too. Good size though, six feet, 190 already. As a freshman, he's going to be making some plays also. Estes, I've seen him go up and get it a few times. Uh as I said, I hope he's been working out daily. Yeah, I hope he's been doing the same thing. If I was him, I would have been on that track. Like, what, no, nobody stopping you from being on the track. If I was shallow, I'd be on the track. Every time they're practicing, I'm on the track. Every time they run a snap, I'm sprinting. Every time they do something, I'm, I'm, I'm simulating like I'm practicing also. I'm just as sweaty as everybody else is coming off the field. Every day. I don't even need to be off campus. I'm Coach Prime's son. So I can't work out here with my dad? I'm there. Ain't no need for him to be off campus doing nothing unless he with a highly skilled professional trainer. That's the only reason why Shiloh should be working out with somebody else. Straight up. I just keep it real uh, in my humble facts and opinion. El Humbre says, Zion says he just doesn't know football. El Humbre, did you watch? Did you not watch Shiloh at South Carolina? He is a dog. Smoking Edwards and Hankerson got that running back room on lock. We haven't seen Smoke yet, so we'll see. Smoke, hope he's working out too. Who knows what he's doing? He could be somewhere smoking. No pun intended. I'm just joking. <laughs> I know that Snoop Dogg's favorite player, though. Kavarcia Smoke coming from Kentucky. Uh, Pierre says, Shiloh better be on that beet juice too. <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> Scared to drink some other stuff. He better be on it. I heard Fourier nice. Yeah, he. I think he's the son or the nephew of Christian Fourier, the former tight end who played in the league and I think played uh, from Colorado. So if he is, he got that pedigree. Six foot five, two forty. 240. Caleb Fourier. I saw him making a couple of catches in the spring also. I swear TV said he'd be spotted in the background working out in CU weight room. I hope so. I haven't seen it, but hopefully somebody can, and, and can let me know. Shiloh working out every day, just not on camera. I'd be on camera is what I'm saying. I'd be on camera. I'd be out in the open with it instead of trying to be like a dark knight. Who are you, Sting or somebody? You're a wrestler? You're going to come out of nowhere? Ah, oh, I'm back. I got a six-pack of abs and, and a whole bunch of everything else. What Man, come on. You should be working out with everybody else, getting all the mental reps you can get at practice every day, getting all the mental reps. He works out after the team is gone. Why? He talked about it in the video. Why? I think his dad has to be there. That's what I'm saying. His dad is there, right? His dad is there. His dad is the head coach. So he should have free reign over everything based off of that. Not as a student, but as the son of the head coach. Shallow can't work out with Colorado team because he doesn't graduate till next week. Great. But I'm saying if he's in Colorado, he's not a student, right? But trust me. Trust me. There are none students who are relative to uh, coaches um, that have free range to all the facilities and things at a school just because that's their child. You know, that's what I'm saying. So if he's their child, um, just like Coach Prime said before, I could take y'all out to dinner. He said this on the video. I could take y'all out to dinner. This is not a violation. You're my son. We're on father-son time now. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> So either way it goes, I'm sure the man working out. I'm sure he's getting right. I'm sure he's not going to embarrass himself. I'm sure he's still CEO of the headache gang. And I'm sure he's going to come out there and be knocking somebody's heads off, especially if they ain't on a swivel. You feel me? Christian or Caleb Fourier, 6'5", 240, sophomore out of Ottawa, Massachusetts. Massachusetts? Somebody say Massachusetts for me two times in a row. Somebody spell Massachusetts. Bishop Fian High School. He said that's not Fourier's son. Coach Kelly going to have to get him right. Shiloh is a dog, Big Noriega says. Shouts out to Noriega. Shouts out to Geniality. 
Shouts out to Jonathan Day. He can't do anything in the same room as the team or work out during the same hours that they're working out. Okay, if that's technically what they're saying or what the rule is, then cool. Maybe he has to be low-key somewhere else. I understand. You're going to be at the spring. Am I going to be at the spring game? Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going live uh, for the spring game. Uh, for everybody who don't have ESPN, who might be in a car somewhere, don't have the ESPN app, just might not be able to find the game or can't get the game, you can log in right here. I'll have the game on live, uh, going play for play, and letting you guys know what's going on. You can listen to it here live on this channel. Go ahead, subscribe. Go ahead, like. And uh, we're going live for the game. If you happen to not be in front of the game or in front of a TV where you can watch it. Place kicker, Jace Feely. That is the son of Jay Feely, the former NFL kicker and NFL Network host with Coach Prime. He's a sophomore out of Gilbert, Arizona. He went to Arizona State also. Here's another guy I like a lot. He's a local kid. I don't think he's going to leave, you know, but Ben Finiseth. He's been making some plays. He's a sophomore, local favorite. Uh, but hey, man, you got You got to. You got to be consistent, Big Ben. Got to be consistent. What y'all think about Big Ben finishing? Let me know. What y'all think about the outside linebacker Devin Grant, six foot three, two sixty, sophomore out of San Antonio, Texas, Antonian Prep. Also, Travis Gray, another big fella. I've seen him. He got a big. There's a big, massive guy right here. Big, long arm guy. Six foot seven, three oh five. Travis Gray, freshman out of Aurora, California, Cherry Creek Trail High School, Aurora, California. They say well, that's where all the black folks at in Colorado. Boo Carter might commit this week. This weekend, I I would predict at least ten, five to ten commitments this weekend at the game. It's against the room. That's that's why he's not being seen on camera. But of course, he's training. Coach Prime said he's hard on his sons than anyone. Trust and believe. He's getting his in. Jesus, it's the way. Much love to you. I hope so. I hope Jerry Ante Davis come to see you. Me too. Uh, Reggie, your coming got flagged. Okay, we know. Okay. Someone talking about. Okay. Yeah, Jesus on the way. Boo Carter, he might commit this weekend. Jace is no Mata. Yeah, I seen Jace miss today, but I think that was from like 55 yards. Mata made his. Big Ben. Uh, Jace kicks further than Mata, but ain't as accurate as Mata. Exactly. Noriega right on, on, on the nail. Right on the nail. Six foot seven. Wow. Aaron Butler, for sure, he will be committing. Alabama DB Jaquez Robinson just hit the portal. Okay. He was originally recruited by Sal Sanceri, and Coach Kelly was DB coach. Big time news right there. Fast Willie Gaines, Simon Collar. We covered that earlier for sure. It's going down. Fast Willie Gaines and a couple of other guys from Alabama will be coming to Colorado. Coach Sal Sanceri and Coach Charles Kelly. Influence is, is there enough, deep enough to where they can um, – they can bring some guys from Alabama. I'm I'm 100% convinced of that. Uh, SSC incorrect. Model show he can kick 60 to 70 yards. I'm sure it's on YouTube. Yeah, my, I've seen that before. Model can kick 60 to 70 yards, but on the video I'm talking about, um, uh, uh, Mata, no, 60 to 70 yards, possibly in the damn um in the altitude, you know, I don't know about that now. But definitely 55 yards is what he said his max is, 55 yards. This The one that's on YouTube that you're talking about was he was in high school, and I think it was like 59 yards he kicked it um, in high school. But, hey, that's neither here nor there. He said he don't miss. Cool. That's what we're going for. I don't think Coach Prime is going to be kicking no 60 or 75-yard uh, field goal anyway with Shador Sanders and that offense and Coach Sean Lewis got going on, they're going to be balling out this year. You feel me? Hit me in the comments if you think so. Let me know what you think. Uh, outside linebacker, six foot three, two thirty five, 235, Joshka Gustav out of Cherry Valley, California, Aquinas High School. He I think he's German or either Austrian. <laughs> Joshka, I like that name, Joshka. Linebacker, six foot three, two twenty, 220, Nathan Hallmark, freshman out of Fort Collins, Colorado. Another local kid. A lot of people asking about what the Colorado guys are. They have them on this roster right here. All right. They have them on this roster right here. Hit me in the comments if you 
If you uh going live, I'm gonna make sure I put this. Y'all ask me about Cash App. I'll put the Cash App link in there. I appreciate it. All the donations, if they do come through or not. Speed Hustle TV is my Cash App. Appreciate you. In advance, I'll make sure I um pin your your comment. If you got have a comment, if you have a business that you want to promote, you can do it on this channel right here. Um, uh, all you gotta do is hit me on Instagram. Or hit me on the um, on the DM and let me know. Jonathan Day said, I'm 25 minutes from Boulder. If we can get the Alabama guys, but what we already have, we're going to be hard to beat if you can't score on us right. If you can get those Alabama guys, defensive front, and some Georgia defensive front that's in the portal, that's going to be huge. Shout out to Nathan Hallmark. We go to tailback Anthony Hankerson, 5'9", 190. We've been seeing Hankerson do some big things in the spring this year did a great job uh so far we've seen breaks uh, a few runs sophomore out of Bornton beach florida st thomas aquinas high school i think anthony hankerson can stay here he, he's a tough running back been showing his worth coach flea likes him a lot my dogs out I, I you already know what that means i mess with hankerson heavy me too i think coach prime going to get all those colorado kids he can i don't think he's going to be really focused on trying to get a Colorado uh, kid, so per se, he he focused on getting dogs. If you happen to be from Colorado, then awesome, you know that's that's a, that's a plus. Shouts out to coach once again. Let's go, big dog. You have great content. Let's go, buff. You already know what's going down. Much love, Coach G Graham in the building. Yes, sir. I need to make sure I put that on there. I put that on there and pin that at the top. Will A said, Hankerson is great. I agree. Hankerson, he kind of reminded me of Savion. Kind of low to the ground, runner, fast, uh, but tough, tough to tackle. Colorado once again, and Coach Prime once again, like I said before, he wants to upload on that talent, and and that's going to be from top to bottom. Hankerson is the beast at breaking tackles for a short guy. Yeah, those legs just keep running through tackles. Exactly. Gearhead said that for sure. Alex Harkey. Offensive tackle, six foot six, three hundred and five pounds, junior out of Austin, Texas. Hayes and Tyler Junior College. Uh, Harkey, I haven't seen a lot of him on that line, but you know if he's making progress, then cool. If he's not, you already know what time it is. You know, I need to be doing a slay him or, or stay him. Let him stay or let him slay. Y'all, let me know in the comments what y'all think about six foot one eighty, Simeon Harris. All right, for the next 10, 15 seconds, we're going to look at the comments to see what y'all think about each player. Let y'all vote on them. <clears throat> they staying or they slaying? Sophomore out of Vallejo, home of E40. Shouts out to 40 Water, California. Benicia High School, Simeon Harris, six foot 180. Is he staying or he's slaying? He's already gone. Harris hit, or that is, that's the one that hit the portal. Simeon Harris, he about that thing. Peace in the Middle East. Throw the deuces up for him. Michael Harrison, big time or big sized wide receiver. Six foot three, 205. Michael Harrison. I saw him make some plays. What y'all think about Harrison? Junior, San Francisco, California. St. Aguintius College Prep High School. Um, Harrison, I liked him. Not very fast, but can get that separation, get up and go get the ball. Not Harris, but Harris' son. What y'all think about Michael Harrison, the wide receiver? Receiver. He might stay. Who know? Transferred. Uh, yep, yep. I think this guy here will stay. I think he can uh, possibly. Uh, he could probably go somewhere else and play right now, but he'll be probably more of a depth guy at the wide receiver. Felt like Shaq. Deuces, Harris. <laughs> Place kicker and punter Noah Hubbard, six foot three, one seventy five, sophomore out of Louisville, Colorado, Monarch High School. Another local guy. Here's another big West African offensive tackle, six foot six, three ten, out of Junior College, Helix and Snow College, San Diego, California. The junior Isaiah Jada. What y'all think about Jada? He's been hurt, but he was running with the first team at left tackle on uh, in front of Big Tank. For a while, he was running that left tackle in front of Big Tank. Then he got an ACL injury. He's a junior, has another two seasons to play. Uh, what y'all think about Jada? 
Yeah, he has great size on long hands. Jada going to be a dog once he gets right. I swear TV said, Coach Coach Graham said, uh, Jada is a beast. Boogie Sound said, Jada is solid. Matt's will start. Shouts out to Alpine Garage Sports. Much love to him. Y'all go uh, subscribe to his page also. I love the content, man. I love the setup too in the garage. <laughs> I love that. If I ever come to Colorado, I'm going to holler at you. Maybe I can get in the garage one day. You feel me? Said Jada seems stiff, though. Uh, great assessment right there. I swear, TV, no lie. But I think he can, um, I think he can, he can, he can really get Ben in his knees and he can protect that backside of Shador. Jada, damn, that autocorrect. <laughs> Much love. I know what you meant, though. Isaiah Jada. Then we go to the fullback. This, uh, one of the brothers on the team, Champion Johnson. His brother is Victory Johnson right here. Uh, Champion uh, is a fullback. He's a shorter tight end, H-back type guy. Uh, more of a blocker, sophomore out of San Diego, California, modern day high school. And then his brother is from San Diego. He went to Cathedral. Um, actually, I think Champion also uh, lived in L.A. for a while, but that's neither here nor there. Linebacker, six foot four, six. 230 pounds that's a big fella at linebacker and he's rangy from what i saw on this highlight tape uh which i broke down on my channel right quick uh previously uh he's a freshman out of san diego and i think he's had some promise also victory johnson he's you, sh you should see his name a lot called on special teams this year cornerback five foot ten 170 Braden keith Broomfield, Colorado, Legacy High School. He's a freshman. You better get that weight up, freshman. Better get that weight up. He could be a guy on special teams also, local guy. Keep him on the squad. Let him uh, bring that good attitude and what he could bring, toughness, hard work to the team. 5'10", once again, 170 pounds. Uh, he's only a freshman, though. Here's another one. Uh, and you pronounce this name, not Eogan uh, uh, or anything like that, but he told it to me. I think it's uh, Owen. Owen Carey, Owen Carey, inside linebacker, six foot three, two thirty five. What y'all think about Owen Carey? Slay him or, or stand? I think he's gonna be dope. He's gonna be a good player. Yeah, champion been balling also. Victory needs some time to put on muscle. Yep, he's kind of weak in the upper body. Yes, sir. He's a freshman. I, I agree with that. That's the burnt toast. He got good footwork. Sports Geek said. Frank White said. Great practice squad pieces. Yep, I agree. Alpine, my dog said, uh, champion has been balling lately. Yeah, I think he's a great blocker, too. Dot is not as stiff on his highlights, uh, with him pulling. Yeah, I agree. But are they elite? You are elite or not? Quote by Coach Kirby Smart, and that's why Georgia is where they at. Georgia, um, is at the top of uh, the mountain of football right now, along with you know, Clemson, Alabama. Uh, and a couple of other schools we could put in there. But I think Colorado is working their way to where, you know, you got to build the blocks first. And Coach Prime knows this. He's got the building blocks in place with the coaches and the support staff and the resources right now. All he has to do now is now he got to bring in the pieces. Just going to bring in the pieces. All those, all those, you know, ballers, dogs, as he called them, is gonna be, they're going to be the pieces. They're going to put on that, uh, product put a nice product a nice uh, product to watch on the field uh, in Boulder this Saturday it's going down on ESPN if you can't get to a TV if you can't get to ESPN on your phone whatever it is tune in right here I'll have it for you going live play by play tight end 6'4 250 pounds Brady Kopetz, uh freshman out of Portland Oregon Lincoln High School another tight end Coach Brewster wants some ballers, though. Not just big bodies. He wants some ballers. Six foot two, 190. Starter from last year. Water number one. Montana Lamonius Craig, Jr. out of Inglewood, where it's always up to no good. California. What is he going to do this year? What's the expectations this year? Montana is a beast. He will be an impact player. Don't sleep on Montana. I'll tell you one thing, Coach. I'm not sleeping on Montana. I know a baller when I see one. I know someone who takes it serious when I see it. When he went down there with Miami to Miami with uh, Shadur, that wasn't just for a trip to go see Miami. He went down there to, to work out, to ball, to build that bond with the quarterback. If you don't know 
how important that is, you will see how important that is. Just from the chemistry factor, just from the fact of the psyche of the quarterback to know that I got a guy I can trust. I got a guy who's serious about this. I got a guy who I can throw a 50-50 ball up to. He's going to come down with that ball. Montana Lamonius Craig, he put up plays last year. He was a, a, a shining spot last year. So I think he's going to come in and uh, do his thing. I don't know if he's going to earn that number one from Coach Prime. He might have to get a number 11. Let me know what y'all think about that. But I think Coach Prime is holding that number one for somebody special. Montana did well for us last year. Yes, sir, I agree with that. Uh, I swear it said uh, Montana probably three in ro- third in rotation right now with Jimmy in the slot. Xavier on the outside, he going to go crazy. Xavier hasn't been there yet. Um, I, I got high expectations for it. Xavier also. Uh, I think he's the reason why they might not be going after Shane Hooks very hard because Xavier Weaver is a baller on the outside. I got him penciled in as an X who can uh, be a starter on the outside also. Um, that game against Cal last year was insane. And, yeah, 11 would be nice on it. Yeah, I think so, too. You're right, Big Dog Chico. He has an outstanding attitude. Yep. Montana Lamonius Craig is that guy. Um, and like I said, I haven't met him personally, but you can look and see and, and go by the guy's actions and what he's doing and the, the, by the way he looks. You know, body language, uh, uh, body composition, all of that, how he runs and plays on the field, all of that plays into it. All right, outside linebacker, six foot five, two thirty. Caden Ludwig. Did he enter the portal? I think his name was on. I'm not sure, but he's a freshman out of Happy Valley, Oregon, Clackamas High School. Six foot five. I think he's a, uh, a edge rusher off that outside with Coach Nick Williams. Let me know what y'all think about him. Here's another guy who could be on that bubble, but I don't think he's going anywhere. He understands the importance of where he where he is. Uh, he just came over uh, from East Mississippi Community College. Uh, from Clint Miss, uh, Junior Jeremy Mack. He had a pick in one of the spring practices, uh, scrimmages. Six foot one ninety. He's he's shown in these videos who he can also hoop. Got a little jump shot, but he did get dunked on. But that's another story. Six foot safety one ninety. Uh, tough stout safe, safety played well for them last year. Um, Alpine, what you think about that? Who's that in the portal? Yeah, Ludwig, I think, in the portal. What about Jeremy Mack Jr.? What you got to think about Jeremy Mack Jr., man? Jeremy Mack will be an impactful player. He would keep that no-fly zone. He's a baller. J. Mack, yes, sir. I think J. Mack, a good player also. And it's just off my eyesight what I think. I haven't um, scouted the guy and seen a million plays from him. I'm telling you what I've seen from the eye test. And uh, Jeremy Mack will be a guy that I'll keep on my team uh, at all costs, uh, whether he's starting or backup special teams what he can come in and fill in you'll know he's going to give all he got on that field uh heady player also uh he got some more developing though yeah i think so uh j mac is him coach kelly will be getting him right yep i don't think he's going to be in that starting spot but he will be in that rotation he's been getting a lot of reps he's going to be a good rotational player exactly D. Lyman, six foot three, Mason Maddox, sophomore out of Aurora, California, Cherokee Trail. What y'all think about Mason Maddox? I'm not sure if I'm super familiar with him. Uh, along with Zion uh, Magale, outside linebacker, six foot two. He's a sophomore out of Chandler, Arizona. Uh, he's probably more famous for the, on, on the Well Off video for not completing uh, one of those uh, early drills that they were doing where they were holding the weights. <laughs> Zion what y'all think about Mason Maddox Zion and then Big Tyus Martin who I talked to earlier this season really had a lot of hope for uh, but he just didn't I guess didn't cut it out of Helena Arkansas he was a three star prospect uh, I guess he just didn't cut it he's out of here he's in the portal you know so Big Tyus uh, I'll just have to say that's that's been a disappointment um, even last year, him and Big Sammy. Now, Big Sammy, six six year guy, he's still there in Colorado. Hopefully, Big Sammy has really been showing what he can do in the portal, or not in the portal, but in the spring. Um, but he's been a guy who could have been a lot better over the years that he's been there. I think. I think his body should have been developed a lot more. Uh, when I've seen him with his shirt off, um, you know. But a lot of Usos, a lot of Soles like that. Uh, Polynesians to be super strong, but they don't even look it as far as, you know, muscle-wise. 
you know. So I, I, I would keep Big Sammy up the middle. He guys, this is last year, man. Been there for the longest, but he did get his number taken away, with Big Shane Coach taking at number ninety nine. So what do you think? What do you think? What number Big Sammy gonna wear this year? Ninety two or something like that? Cause that ninety nine gone with the win. Damn. Not sure about Maddox and Magale might have to kick rocks. <laughs> Coach Graham keeping it real on them. You feel me? Sport Geek, Allen Ball just, just Allen Ball just entered the portal. I hate to uh kind of predict guys, but you know, hey. What they said back in the day, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> so he's in the portal. Once again, as we make our way uh, on down this list, place kicker Alejandro Automata uh, from uh, Buford, Georgia, the sophomore out of Jackson State. Only kick he, he missed last year was the two ones that was blocked, and that was because of uh, blocking, basically, the offensive line, the, the line up there. So Alejandro Mata, uh he's so small that people, you know, 5'9", 180, I don't even think he's 5'9". A lot of people just don't think he has the power in his leg. But a lot of kickers in the NFL – uh, have been small. Those big, powerful kickers are, are, you know, not really a dime a dozen. They're like it's hard to find those guys. Those guys like unicorns. Big six foot three kicker like Cole Becker was. You don't find those guys every day. You know, a guy like Alejandro Mata who has a soccer background. You know, maybe uh, you know, a Spanish Latin guy has that soccer background. Those guys are the ones who you know really just natural kickers. And they're more accurate, and they last longer uh, throughout the league. You know, just 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 do the do the um, model don't miss, but <laughs> just do kind of like uh, what you call it? do the research on that man. Kickers usually be about a Alejandro model size, five foot nine, one eighty. So I'm good with that. Cornerback is that McGannon? That is, is he in the portal too? But is he the one that been getting burned at cornerback um, against Travis Hunter? How you pronounce his name? Liam, Lime, McGannon, sophomore, San Francisco, California. He went to uh, St. Ignatius, Ignatius Prep to also, however you pronounce that name out there on the West Coast of California. But uh, he might be heading back there if he's the one that's been getting burned by Travis Hunter constantly in those uh, clips that I've been seeing. I agree. Black Jacket said Greer. Uh, I'm not sure he did leave. Matt can't leave until he graduate anyway. He just transferred in last year. Yep. Uh, we should go after A. Hall. The guy, That's the guy that came from Alabama and went to Texas, Frank White uh, said. But I don't know if he's going to be a good guy that's going to fit in with what Coach Prime wants to do. I hope he's been getting his grades. If not, he's definitely not that type of guy that's going to come to Colorado and excel with Coach Prime. McGannon, kick rocks, Coach said. <laughs> Mills is out. Keyshawn Mills, yep, he's out. Jaden Milliner Jones is a newcomer, just came over. Uh, he's a freshman out of DeSoto, Texas. We saw him on a on the uh, promo video. Safety five foot eleven, one ninety. Uh, like uh, like Alpine Garage Sports told me, Keyshawn Mills is about this thing. Uh, we got our transfer coming over from Florida, six foot five, three hundred ten pounds, offensive tackle, sophomore out of Murphy, North Carolina. By way of the University of Florida, Yusef Margabil. Um, he's been one of those guys a lot of people been high on to come in and be a good player after that left tackle position. I haven't really evaluated him yet, but uh, if he's a big, strong, tough, agile guy, I like him. <laughs> Inside linebacker, six foot three, two twenty five. Uh Tommy Notoraini. Uh, six uh, sophomore out of San Diego, California, Cathedral Catholic. Kick Tommy. What y'all think about Tommy? <laughs> Is Tommy the porn star? <laughs> oh man, Yusuf can't be a destroyer if he stays healthy. Yes, sir. I, I agree. Big LT, what's happening? Just checking in. I swear, TV. I got high hopes. For Milliner in the future, me too. I think he is. He can be a. I, I hate. I just passed by him like he was nothing. But uh, I think Jaden Milliner Jones can be a um, good, rangy, hard hitting safety uh, that can come in and play some ball at Colorado. I'm not I'm straight up. I'm talking about he has the size, um, kind of stout, 
uh, guy, strong build, uh, strong up top, uh, thick in the legs. Like I've seen him play ball. I've seen him work out. He's one of those guys I've been high on for real. Jaden Miller and the Jones. Watch out for him. And uh, and remember I said, there's no lie. Tommy Notarani. What y'all think about Tommy? Tommy looks like my paper. <laughs> Jay Horn and Young Edwards are going to change things with those Rockets. They're riding. I agree, too. Big Noriega said a lot of them guys from the prior team going to be depth, depth guys. I agree. Tommy kick rocks, Coach Graham said. You're about that thing. Kerry Espinoza from Colorado. We're coming. Surfer Boy 3000 said we mopped the Florida O-line up and down the field in Jacksonville. Good luck to him in Boulder. Go dogs. Straight up. Shouts out to all my Georgia Bulldogs out there. Shouts out to all my Alabama Crimson Roll Tide out there. My Alabama, uh, my Auburn War Eagles. Big LT said, Charlie going to get some play this year. What y'all think about Charlie with the mustache? Charlie Offerdale. What y'all think about Charlie? They call it, is that the one? That, yeah, they call him Porn Star Charlie, right? With that mustache. What y'all think about Charlie? Charlie smoked Savion and Edwards would be nasty in the backfield. Charlie earned his scholarship for show. Uh, Char- Charlie kind of reminds me of that guy Ecker from the from the Chargers, yeah? All he does is produce, and people look over him, right? Is it Ecker or Decker? One of those guys from the Chargers. I think it's Decker from the Chargers. <laughs> Elevate Charlie. I like that 100%. I wish Weidman was on his way. Man, Malachi Weidman would have been so, so clutch if he could come, man. But I don't know. I think his grades were messed up at Jackson State. Malachi Wyman, six foot five, originally went to Tennessee, came over to Jackson State, led them in touchdowns the first year, then got into some type of trouble, then got suspended by Coach Prime, then he just fell off the map, came back in at the end of the season, caught a couple touchdowns, but that was it. That's all we heard from him. He also played basketball on JSU's basketball team. Malachi Wyman, uh, six foot five, got tons, tons of potential if he could stay, uh, keep his head on, 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 on the keep his head on straight and keep headed down the right track. Uh, Surfer Boy 3000 said, Charlie going to be on the practice squad. <laughs> I keep telling people he really is the best wide receiver. Honestly, he ran with the ones today, I believe. Lots of backs in the portal. Charlie legs don't start moving until he gets on the ground. I think Charlie one of those guys. He looked great in practice. Um, can do some things in the game, but, you know, against like a USC or something, phew, I think he'll get bottled up. I'm sorry. I think he'll get bottled up. You know, tell Charlie to prove me wrong. If y'all Charlie fans out there, elevate Charlie. Tell him to prove me wrong. You know, I'm a Charlie fan, you know, just by default. But, you know, as far as putting him in over some of these guys that they have, Dylan Edwards and other guys smoke, I ain't doing that, coach. He'll be great on the practice squad to keep us on our toes, our defense chasing after him um, on the scout team. Excuse me, each and every week. He's a sophomore out of Littleton, Colorado, though. Dakota Range High School, local kid. So everybody uh, kind of got that affectionate, you know, thing uh, with Charlie, which is, you know, no knocking there at all. Cornerback Jason Oliver Jr., six foot 175, cornerback, sophomore, Bakersfield, California, Liberty High School. Let me know what y'all think about Jason Oliver Jr. Looks good. Does he play good? Tight end Eric Olson. I seen him still. Is he a? Uh, he has a good tight end last name in Olson. You know, big Greg Olson, sophomore out of Littleton, Colorado. Also went to the same high school as Charlie. No, he probably went to the same city. or probably went to a rival high school or some heritage. Then you got safety Trey Ortega, junior out of Broomfield, Colorado. Six foot one ninety five. A lot of people been high on this guy. Grant Page, 6'3", 200 pounds, freshman out of Boulder, Colorado, Fairview High School. Coach Graham, Jason kicks rocks. Travis killed him. <laughs> Johnny Swag, Charlie going, going to motivate others. Exactly. Giggity proved me wrong as well. Yep. That's where he went crazy one game last year. Uh, he don't need potential. We need to win now. Exactly. That's what I'm on. See, I'm on a more of a um, – uh, what they call it. I'm on more of a, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, you got to be more, um, just, 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 
I can't even think of the word right now. I'm, I'm looking at this. I can't even think of the word right now. But you gotta be have some. Um, I'm going blank right now. But anyway, <laughs> six foot three, 200, 200 pounds. Grant Page, freshman out of Boulder, Colorado. He's one of those guys. Place kicker Christian Palazzo, Palazzo, sophomore out of Littleton, Colorado. Um, D. Lyman, Leonard Payne, who came over from Fresno State. He's a graduate student from uh, Los Angeles, California. Uh, I think he's going to start on that defensive line, at least be in on passing downs. But six foot three, three ten. Uh, witness the truth just says Shane Hooks is probably coming also. Oh, I see Willie Gaines. Yep, SRT coming, committed to uh, CU. Yep, Palazzo might be a keeper. Um, Leonard Payne Jr. is a keeper. Linebacker Morgan Pearson looks the part. Six foot one, 225, freshman out of Atmore, Oklahoma, Plainview High School. He looks the part from what I've seen on tape. Morgan Pearson, I hope he can really ball out um, and show his worth also. Jacob Polite, the long snapper. A lot of people overlook the long snapper. That's hard to do. A lot of pressure on him. Sophomore out of Lubbock, Texas, where they play a lot of good football in Lubbock, Texas. He's from Cooper College in Jackson State. Jacob Polite said he was a wide receiver all state in college. I mean, uh, in high school, <laughs> where they won the state championship. Damn. Who'd y'all play against? Offensive line, John Ramirez, six foot five, two ninety, freshman, out of Plancentia, Plancentia, California, El Dorado. California got some names for you, boy. Then you got Nico Reed, who's in the portal right now. Someone tell me why did Nico Reed enter the portal so fast? Why didn't he stay around and play in the game? Why didn't he stay around and play in the game? That's that's baffling to me to be a player. And knowing that the portal um, is there, but knowing that this, uh, this this spring game is coming around, you go through all those practices and you don't play in the spring game. Man, you have to have a gun to my head to not have me play in the spring game. Or you have to have a coach on the other end of the phone telling me, hey, I seen you on those well-off videos. You know, I, I, I seen you on the well-off videos. I want you to come to my school. You don't have to play in the spring game to prove that. Then I'll go get in the portal. If I haven't had that call, I'm going out there trying to shut down Travis Hunter to a T. Unless you have no confidence, unless Travis took all your confidence at last spring practice. If not, I'm staying there and I'm I'm blitzing. I'm, I'm sacking Shador. They know my name. They're like, damn, Nico, calm down. Yeah, yeah, I'm disrupting everything. I'm disrupting everything today. You gonna know my name. You think I'm finna not play in this game? This is the biggest game of the year. Including last year. <laughs> Including the season last year. And you gonna shirk out like my coach used to say. May all these guys enter in the portal now. If the coach did not tell them to enter the portal and y'all just doing it on your own for whatever reason. Let me see what my dog Alpine Sports said. Wanted to get a coach's eye quickly. Alpine, you OG. Tell me this now. What better way to get a coach's eye than to enter the portal quickly or to go through a spring practice and ball the hell out in Colorado where everybody is going to be watching. Everybody is going to be watching this. All the coaches, recruiters, everybody's going to be watching this game and you're not playing because you want to catch somebody's eye quickly. Man, come on, coach. You still got, what, a whole week after this game left to catch coaches' eyes. And the best way to do it is to play in the game. And it's going to be on ESPN. Come on, man. You, you ain't you, Man, you have to steal my jersey, my helmet, uh, um, break my ankle, do something. You're going to have to physically hold me from going out there. This is a, 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 an audition. This is, you, you probably never get this chance. You're not going to get this chance by sitting in the portal. You got 2,000 people in the portal. I'm not going to the portal until I'm knocking heads off. <laughs> Old school said he was scared. Big LT said, I think so, Alpine. No, I don't, I don't, I can't agree with that one, y'all. Coach Graham, Jaren Ted Davis, linebacker from JSU, visiting to see you this week. He's a baller. Oh, my God. Yes, he is. And I think it's going to be a lot of people committing as they come to Colorado this weekend. They got scared, Kerry Espinosa said. I swear, TV, man, I thought he was going to stay in general. Yep, me too. 
Guess he wanted to be that guy. Where are you going to go? You going to go somewhere else to be that guy? Where? Jacksonville State? Come on. Stay there with Coach Prime. You just left the best cornerback in the world for what? Attitude? Emotions? What? I'm going there to get in Coach Prime's hip pocket. He going to have to stiff on me every day, every morning. Damn, Nico, what you want now? Oh, Coach, I just wanted to pick your brain. I just wanted to see how you walking today. I wanted to see what you were eating for breakfast today, Coach Prime. You feel me? What? He may not have played that much in spring game. I agree he shouldn't. He should have stayed. Yes, sir. Even if he didn't. Why wouldn't he play that much in the spring game, though? All the all the people that graduated from Colorado years before will be there. Yep. Why not hang out and see all the greatest? It's going down. You're going to have all these alumni coming back there, man. I got time today. I wanted to show up and show out. Sorry, Nico. <laughs> good luck and goodbye. Dang. I swear, TV. Shit. If I'm him, I'm going I'm going to coach saying, I'm going to enter the portal, but I still want to practice and play. I'm sure Coach Prime would let him. Now, I think Coach Prime would say, no, dog. If you want to enter the portal now, go. you better enter it. you want to enter the portal, you better enter it now, dog. Or you better come out here and ball. I ain't no here and there. <laughs> the stands are sold out, and the students going to fill in all the standing room. It's going down, man. He was already that guy on a bad team last year. Yeah, he was that guy. Yep, you're right. I see what you're saying, Frank White. He was that guy on a bad team last year. He led the team with two picks, but now he's up out of there for whatever reason. Nico Reed is gone. Uh, we're not going to harp on it too much long. Damn, the season is sold out. Yep, the season ticket sold out. Nico, you lost your – you lost <laughs> straight up. I don't understand. Who, who gave me y'all guys – uh, advice on that or was it just an emotional decision which you've seen coach kelly say hey man you can't be making emotional decisions you know based off of emotions you know you can't be making life decisions based off emotions like that wouldn't coaches kind of be a little weird on a transfer that left before the spring game exactly rudy old school say acting like he wasn't worth what was going on there with coach exactly man that's what i'm saying I think he's going to Arizona with the recruiter that left. Yeah, so Mondo, recruiter that left uh, Colorado uh, from California. He was from California. My dog, Mondo Hawkins, he played at Idaho State. But then he, he's he been at Colorado as a recruiting uh, specialist, defensive uh, backs coach, I think, uh, assistant coach. But, excuse me, Mondo, Amon Hawkins just went to Arizona. And um, I'm sure he's been on his game trying to recruit some guys to come to Arizona also. Whether it's Nico Reed or anybody that he knows, he's been trying to get them to come to Arizona, as he should. So if that's what Nico's gone, that proves my point of that's what he should be doing. If if only way he should not be playing in this spring game is if – excuse me. Like I said, it's if um, he had another coach on the other end saying, hey, come here, we got a scholarship for you. That's it. Jack Remington, inside linebacker, 6'3", 195, freshman out of Boulder, Colorado. Offensive lineman, 6'6", 290, Ben Resnick. Sophomore out of Deerfield, Illinois. I'm reading these comments. Y'all going crazy. Y'all going crazy in the comments. I appreciate it. Shout out to Ben Resnick. Linebacker, 6'2", 205. Caden Roberson. Is Roberson in the transfer portal also? He's a sophomore out of San Clemente, California. I'm not sure about him. Ty Robinson, 6'3", 195. Been showing some promise. He's out of Aurora, California. Eagle Crest Jr., Local local guy. I like Ty Robinson. Been showing great attitude in practices. Coaches usually don't have no problem out of Ty. What y'all think about Ty Robinson? Did he make some plays last year? Yeah, Ty Robinson, the one that dunked on J-Mac hard on his own vlog. <laughs> Naeem Rodman. Rodman was one of those guys. He's a senior out of Lakewood, California. Lakewood always up to no good. You already know what time it is. St. John Bosco, he played some good football in high school. I swear, I like him rotational. Yep, me too. Frank White. So, 
So wait, he can transfer to another Pac-12 school and Bear Alexander can't transfer to another SEC school? I think SEC got their own rules, dog. Ty Robinson is a keeper, yep. Made some plays last year, great attitude, yep. All right, we get to some more Usos down here. Oki Salavia. What y'all think about Salavia? Six foot four, two twenty. Got nice size for a safety freshman. Out of uh, he's from uh, straight from American Samoa. What's up, Sole Uso? Straight from American Samoa. Is or is it Oaki or Oki? I think it's Oki. Salavia. The NFL is watching in Denver. They have a pro team right down the road. Exactly. What y'all think about Salavia? What y'all think about Big Jalen Sammy? Six foot six, three thirty. I'm sure he slimmed down and gotten a lot of strong, lot stronger this year in that weight program. Haven't seen him say a lot, but you know, Big Silent J. Uh, oh man, Coach Graham says Salavia. Sorry. Oh, he said sorry. Never heard of him. I thought you was calling him sorry for a minute. <laughs> Send him home and tell him to bring us some more Samoans. For real, we need some more Samoans. How you have a team in the Pac-12, you don't have at least 10 to 20, not 10 to 20, at least 5 to 10 Samoans, man. And, and Tongans, too. Shout out to my T's out there. Oki will be awesome. Can't wait to see him more. Me, too. I agree. Ty just seemed happy to be there, to be honest. <laughs> To be, and I would be just happy to be, not just happy, but I would be happy to be there, but putting my all in every day also. To be honest, um, and I hate to sound mean, but them see you guys just a little soft and look like they didn't hit the weights until Prime got there. I'll say I agree with that with some guys. Six foot two, 220 safety, yeah. They're built like that. Big Samoan. Big LT said Jalen Sammy is trash. Oh, man. I think Sammy just... just Needed that kick in the butt. I think he's gonna surprise some people this year. Hopefully, yeah, bro. We don't play down here in the SEC. We're not going to help another SEC squad. Exactly, Jamie. Um, they didn't <laughs> laugh a lot. They didn't that big LT, big LT. The big the D line and the O line talent along with LB was weak without enough muscle. Coach Graham says Sammy needs to get tough. Come on, Sammy, or you would be on a WWE wrestling right. Utah loaded with them. Yep, and that's why they always have a good offensive and defensive front off the top. All right, so we're about to reach the top of the hour. We got seven minutes left. We're going to go ahead and hit this and get Shador Sanders in this thing. We already know about Shador Sanders and how he's going to ball out this year. If y'all hating, y'all stay at home. Keep your comments to yourself because Shador is balling out this year. He will be a Heisman candidate, so look out for it. I don't care what you say. I'm calling it right now. So we're just going to move on past that. The junior from Dallas, Texas, Trinity Christian out of Jackson State. All right, running back, Christian Serum, six foot two, 220, freshman. What can Christian Serum bring to uh, Colorado football? He's out of Carabats, California. He's a freshman, six foot two, 220 once again. Then we go down to Jack Seval, offensive lineman, six foot seven, 285 pounds. One of those, another tall guy. More slender than uh, stocky build. He's a sophomore out of Centennial, Colorado. Arapo, Arapaho uh, High School. Jack Seval, 6'7", 285. Hopefully he can get stronger and provide some protection and some depth on that offensive line. DB, 6'195". Miles Slusher, junior out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Uh, by way of Arkansas. Uh, if you check my page, I did a reaction on his new music video that he just dropped last week. Uh, check Slush out and let me know what y'all think about that. But uh, other than his music, he better get better and tighten up those covering skills. As we've seen, Jimmy Horn Jr. really work on him in one-on-ones. But he's more of a downhill safety, uh, tackling safety, in-the-box type guy. Miles Slusher Jr. out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. All right, Inside linebacker, six foot three, Aubrey Smith, sophomore out of Atlanta, Georgia, by way of Buford. Uh, I don't think is he no that's Austin Smith that's in the transfer portal 6'5", 230 tight end sophomore out of uh, Edmonton Texas Todd Haven High School he's in the transfer portal Deion Smith the running back did he enter the portal I hope he didn't I like Deion Smith no Deion is not in the portal he shouldn't be in the portal he was a uh, big time 
a good player for him last year. Six foot one ninety, senior out of Houston, Texas, Second Baptist High School. He should provide some type of uh, production this year for Colorado. Also, safety six foot two one eighty five, Xavier Smith, freshman out of Atlanta, Georgia, Langston Hughes High School. Xavier Smith. Uh, I was talking about uh, Deion Smith up there, the running back. Now we're talking about Xavier Smith, the safety. Uh, I like Aubrey, someone said. Deion Smith is nice. He's a keeper. Yep. True giggity. Uh, the academic transfer standards reflect the past roster. <laughs> Wide receiver, 6'3", 200 pounds, Chase Soil. Freshman out of Humble, Texas. Uh, I think he's a, a, a good ball player, but has to do some developing uh, is what I've been seeing so far. Running back Jay Stacks, he's up and out of that thing out of Aurora, Colorado. Where can he end up? Who knows? 5'11", 235. Just wasn't what uh, Coach Flea at the running back coach and running back spot was looking for. Uh, looking for elusive type guys. We've seen Jax do his, do his thing in practice, but uh, no, nah, he's not going to be that guy to be in that backfield for Coach Flea. He can take that scholarship and go somewhere else. Unless he's a walk-on, he could use that roster spot and go somewhere else. Here's Ryan Staub, the backup quarterback so far, six foot one, 195, freshman out of Stevenson Ranch, California. He's been showing some promise. Uh, really, really uh, heady quarterback. He Say he's got to just work on his footwork a lot more and, and his accuracy. But I think Ryan Staub is a good filler if anything was to happen at the quarterback position. Um, if they can't get any more four or five stars in their thing, Ryan Stop is a good steady quarterback, I think. Uh, not going to – kind of like a Ryan Fitzpatrick. Not going to really win you a lot of games, but he won't lose you a lot of games if you can have a good uh, running game behind him. Tyron Taylor, six foot two, 185, junior out of Hunt, Huntersville, North Carolina. Uh, I've been watching him on his YouTube. Uh, but did Taylor – I don't think Taylor entered the portal, did he? Give me the update on that, on Taylor. So many names been in that portal. It's crazy. Alpine Garage Sports says Smith is not in the portal. Uh, uh, good. I swear TV. Chase Sorrell was with him. Uh, was him last year before injury. Yeah. Him and Jordan Tyson was the truth. Xavier Smith, not sure. Stacks must kick rocks. <laughs> kick rocks, they said. Majority of the team, freshman wide receiver from last year's squad, will be in that transfer portal. I agree. Frank White, our backup quarterback, is um, – they need someone to push QB1. I like I like stop for now until the uh, season come around. Coach Graham, Stain, I'm sure you said stop is nice showing promise keeper. Giggity, do you see the new long snapper transfer from Miami? We have three now. No, I haven't seen him, Giggity. Uh, I think Taylor transfers. Yeah, Taylor is still on the team, Zion said. Uh, I swear TV laugh out loud, right? I'm pretty sure he walking. <laughs> Y'all killing it in these comments. Sorry to inform you, y'all, but Shador didn't have a solid backup at JSU. It is what it is, Big LT said. Right. Who cares about the backup? <laughs> Tight end, Cito Treyor, a.k.a. Zico, six, Zico, 6'4", 210. I think he's like 220 now at least. But he got to step up in that block and get tougher and not just be a passing guy because Coach Brewster, he wants a uh, three, four down tight ends. He's a junior out of London, England. Clearwater, Florida Academy, Arkansas State uh, led them in receiving last year. Wide receiver Jordan Tyson, six foot two, one eighty five, sophomore to Allen, Texas. DN Taylor Upshaw, whose dad played in the league. Reagan Upshaw, a grad student. He went to Michigan, out of Bradenton, Florida, down there near Tampa. Mark Vassett, uh, the Australian punter, six foot four, two twenty. Uh, he formerly went to Louisville. He's the punter. Victor Venn, running back, five foot ten, one seventy, 170, freshman out of Buford, Georgia. We got a lot of Buford, Georgia guys. They've been recruiting down there. Damn, they need to come to Selma, Alabama, my hometown. Got some ballers down there, too. If you got all these guys from Buford, Georgia, you telling me you don't have one guy from Selma, Alabama? Shit, coach. <laughs> come on now. Y'all better research Selma, Alabama. Upshaw is definitely a keeper. Zico disappeared. Now, nah, Zico better step up since those pads came on. I think Zico is more of a, uh, a gamer also. I think he's more of a gamer. At 11, there were no hymns at CU. <laughs> Surfer Boy 3000. 
Vent is a beast. Keeper. I want to keep saying it until I turn blue in the face. Coach Prime needs to wipe clean all of last year's roster. Down. I don't agree with that, but damn. Vin high school tape is insane. I hope he pans out, though. Victor Vin. Cameron Warchuk, sophomore out of Norco, California. Not the Norco that y'all see on TV, but he's a snapper, 6'2", 230. Warchuk, wide receiver, Asad Wasim, 5'11", 175. We've been seeing him putting some routes on some people out there. He's a freshman out of South Florida, Okoye, Florida. Offensive tackle, six foot eight, Savion Washington, grad student, Akron, Ohio, formerly of Kent State. He went to LeBron's high school, St. Vincent, St. Mary, and he's about LeBron's size at six foot eight. You know, he's the right tackle, penciled in as a starter so far. Another guy penciled in is this Big Van Bam, Van Bamwell, should I say? Big Bam Bam. Offensive line, the center, six foot two, 290, 295 pounds, hovering around that 300 pound mark now. Sophomore out of Houston, Texas, C. E. King High School. Uh, he's been protecting Shador up front. He was an All American freshman last year. Also, Josh Wiggins, the brother of uh, K. Wiggins, who played for Jackson State last year out of Spring, Texas, Clean Oak High School. He's a freshman, six foot one, 175. If he can do some things like his brother did at Jackson State last year, then he got a lot of promise in him uh, with Wiggins. Big Jake Wiley, I've been seeing some improvement from him uh, stepping up possibly in that starting lineup coming soon. If he can continue to just keep going up, the arrow is pointing up for him right now. Six foot six, three ten, big, massive, long arm, heavy handed type guy. Jake Wiley out of Centennial, Colorado, Eagle Crest High School. He's a junior. Can he step up and get better this year? Inside linebacker, Mr. Williams, six foot two fifty, sophomore out of Westlake Village, California, Oaks Christian High School. We're gonna keep this thing moving. Dylan, our, our D lineman, Ryan Williams, six foot three, uh, two seventy five. Is he the guy that? Yep, he went in the portal. Sophomore out of Perlin, Texas. He's up and out of that thing. Coach Graham, go ahead and let me know that uh, he can get the boot. <laughs> Alpine Garage Sports, Jake Wiley has come a long way. Yeah, or, or Jake Wilty. You talking about Wilty? Or, oh, you talking about Wiley. Yeah, big Jake Wiley has come a long way. We're moving on now to offensive lineman inside, penciled uh, as a starter. So far, been working with that first team. It's big Jack Wilty at right guard, the sophomore out of Iowa. Southeast Polk, Northern Illinois, and Iowa Central Community College. Jack Wilty been tough on the inside, but Coach is still looking to add more and more depth there. Demore Kennedy out of Alabama, one Hogan said, I haven't been, haven't seen him in practice yet, but uh, he's going to be a baller, I think, too. Coach Graham said, both Williams can kick rocks. Get about that thing. Sanford Whitfield said, do you know any Halls of Stanleys from Selma, Alabama? Uh, I know some Stanleys, definitely. Uh, oh, Hales. Yeah, I know some Hales, too. My dog, Michael Hale. I played ball with Michael Hale at Selma High School and his, and his brothers. A uh, bunch of them Hales in Selma, Alabama. DeMore Kennedy is hurt right now. He'll be getting better. Uh, Willie is – Wiley, uh, I think he's meant, meant to say – Coach meant to say Wilty is nice. He's a kilt keeper. Wolverine, the portal is waiting uh, on you. Wolverton, Jordan Wolverton, the safety, six foot two, one ninety five, sophomore out of Durango, California. Man, a lot of these local guys might be getting up out of that thing. Tight end, six foot five, two fifty. He was uh, Shador's tight end in high school. He's a sophomore. Uh, he's from Texas, of course. Trinity Christian. He went to Iowa last year. Elijah Yelverton. He's been showing some promise. Also, making some good catches in one on ones. If you look at my page, we went over the defensive coaches earlier. I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and drop this uh, offensive coaches video. Uh, shout out to Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, the one and only. Been doing this thing for 30 years, man. 30 years. Uh, Big Bear from uh, the defensive lineman at Georgia got some ties to Coach Tersu Uha, who came over from Georgia. Hopefully, he can bring them on. But we'll talk about that in another video. Appreciate everybody who's joining in. Y'all hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Y'all can hit me on the Cash App if you want to. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to all the other uh, content creators on this uh, chat in the comments, leave it in the comments. And uh, if you want to do some,
promotions, let me know. Hit me on Instagram, Big Dog Chico or Big Dog underscore Chico. B i w g d o w g underscore C H I C O. I'm up and over, up out of this thing. Peace in the Middle East. I appreciate you joining in, and uh, you already know what to do. Yeah, if I can go ahead and hit stop streaming. <laughs> If I can go ahead and hit stop streaming. Where my course at, Bob? Okay, we're about this thing. Peace in the Middle East. Thank y'all. Yeah, y'all.